guys, this is Scribbly again with another pen review and today we are going to have another installment of what I call the comparative overview series, which is a series of videos that compares pens that are either uh, very close to one another or that are very alike and where I thought that maybe good for people to have sort of a comparative overview to make a more informed pur purchase decision because sometimes these pens look very similar or could be very similar and it's maybe not totally obvious which of the two you would like to pick. So uh, today we are going to look at the Platinum Century 3776 versus the Sailor 1911 large. Before we start, I want to say many thanks to our good friends over there at Nomado Store for shipping me this 3776 Platinum pen so that I could actually go and do this comparative uh, overview video. The 1911 is in my collection since quite a bit. Nomado Store, check them out right here, nomadostore.com. They have all kinds of cool leather and writing and stationery accessories and products. Thanks a lot again for sending me this pen. I really appreciate it. Before we dive into things, let's look at the two different packagings that those Japanese pens come in just for a second. They are sort of a little bit, you know, similar. Uh, the Sailor comes in this white cardboard box. Flip that, uh, slide that one out, say Sailor, Golden, uh, with the anchor logo and all of that. And then <clears throat> in there it also says Sailor and then you get sort of like, you know, warranty booklet. Got that from La, Cour La Couronne du Comte back in the days. Uh, with all kinds of information in there. That's what that looks like for the Sailor. Then the Platinum, it's also a white box. Outer box, Platinum, Japan, 1919. Slide that one out, simple blue box. That's some kind of a plastic. Then inside says platinum up here, very similar to the sailor box. Then you get a warranty card and then you get a user's manual. Um, <clears throat> interesting thing about this uh, platinum that I have here and we will look at that in a second. It has like this very interesting soft fine nib that is a very bouncy, slightly flexy, not a flex pen, but a bit flexy and a user's manual in all kinds of different uh, languages. The cool thing about these uh, platinum pens is that they have this like a slip and seal mechanism. So that's a mechanism um, that you see sitting in these semi-translucent pen, pens sitting up here in the cap. And what that does is that when you push the nib into that, it then pushes that thing up and actually creates an airtight seal. And they have some kind of, uh, you know, uh, highly uh, academic uh, statistics in here that then actually claims that other fountain pens, once you cap them, that after about, you know, a month, but latest after four months, the nib would run dry and you couldn't write with them anymore. Whereas the Platinum Century with this uh, slip and seal mechanism right here could be kept for a time for capped for a time of up to 24 months without running dry now i never had those pens kept for such a long time but i mean they actually you know they always write i've also never had one running dry so if you want to do that experiment for yourself maybe do it i can't have a pen not write and not write with it for two years but anyway that's a little bit of backgrounds and facts right here the pens right there you know at first glance, yeah, sure, they look pretty similar. It's both cigar shaped pens. It's very nice. Pens. It's very nice. We have one with a gold trim and one with a with a uh, platinum uh, plated or silver trim right here. So we can see that difference very nicely. They are both uh, cigar shaped pens, as said. They are both Japanese pen makers. Excellent Japanese pen makers. They're both about the same length. I would say that the the Sailor 1911 large here is like maybe three millimeters longer or something like that. They do both have, as said, because they're cigar shaped, like domed caps. I would say that the cap uh, of the uh, platinum is a little bit thicker and girthier up here, that finial, a uh, little bit more pointy on the Sailor. The clip on the platinum is a bit longer and it is also a bit wider. As you can see right here, 
both clips this is pretty stiff on the sailor the one on the platinum a little bit more bouncy a bit more springy so here a bit more stiff here a little bit more easy going um, the caps I would say that the one on the Platinum is slightly wider. The cap bands then again also look very similar. You have an upper cap band and a main, main cap band right there. The upper cap band on the uh, Sailor is a little bit thicker. On the Sailor, the main cap band, cap band then says Sailor Japan, founded 1911. Um, looks very nice. And the cap band on the Platinum says... Uh, Platinum, made in Japan, number 3776, Century. Looks also very nice. Both caps flare out a little bit onto the body. Also, the body of the 3776 is slightly wider. It's not very much, but ever so slightly. Uh, and then here you have the ends. A little bit more pointy on that one here they both have on the 1911 uh, sailor the 1911 large and then you have these end uh, end rings here which again is a little bit wider on the sailor just sort of to match the widths on each of the respective ends both pens are available in different colors and all that. Uh, one main difference between the two of them is that like the sailors are most of the time, uh, or at least in that um, instance here, when it's a black pen, a solid color. There is also demonstrator pens, obviously, <clears throat> that sailor makes. But the 3776s are most of the time semi-translucent pens. And I do think you can see that here when I turn the cap you can see the nib moving in here you can probably not see it perfectly in the lighting conditions here but i do believe that you can see it which obviously you cannot uh, on the sailor because as said it's like a solid colored plastic this uh, semi-translucency is a feature that is liked by very many uh, platinum uh, 3776 enthusiasts because of course then when the sunlight comes in that looks super cool because you can actually also hold it up to the light and see that which is really really nice let's uncap those two and compare them there again this again is the caps beside each other where you can see that the caps you know overall look fairly similar i remember that in the beginning of my fountain pen days i saw pictures of those two pens on instagram and like you know in the beginning without me knowing what to look for uh, i couldn't really tell those two apart they look basically the same to my eyes here we have those two uncapped While overall, the 3776 is the little bit gothier pen, I would say, um, apart from maybe up here at the body, um, then also at the section, what you can see is that the 1911 large, the sailor pen right here, is ever so slightly girthier. So if you have a preference for slightly beefier pens, um, then maybe the 1911 is more the pen for you. While, I mean, the 3776 is also a really, really nice size of pen in the hand. So, like, they're both by no means slim pens or something like that. But the 1911 Sailor is a little bit larger. And also here, they look fairly similar. You know, the sections look a little bit similar. The section is a bit more cylindrical here on the Platinum and, like, a slight taper on the uh, Sailor. But they both have like a metal band here, have these uh, uh, sc uh, screwing threads for the caps right here. Then the nibs, they are now, uh, they're both gold nibs, uh, a 14 karat gold nib on the platinum uh, as opposed to a 20 karat gold nib on the sailor. Um, as said, they're gold nibs, just that that one here is plated, but depends on, you know, which uh, kind of accent color you get uh, for these pens. They are all available in plated and non-plated gold nibs. So if you would prefer a sailor with a gold nib, gold colored gold nib, you could get that. And if you would prefer a, pla a plated um, platinum pen where the nib looks silver, you could also get that. I like both nib designs. They're both really beautiful. 
the nib design of the 3776 is a little bit more simplistic. It just says 3776 P for platinum, 14 karat, soft fine, the SF585 for the gold content. Uh, then this like stylized Mount Fuji on here and this uh, very beautiful heart shaped breather hole that very many people like and find cute. I also think it's a very nice design element. And then on the side of the nib, it says Japan right here. And then you have a feed down there. Looks a little bit Cobra-ish. I think it's really nice. And what I really like on the 3776 is like these wide nib shoulders right here. I think it just gives the pen and the nib a very, very beautiful aesthetic. Uh, obviously, the nib of the Sailor is also really beautiful. There's more, less simplistic, more scroll work going on there. Looks, looks a little bit more old school. It says 1911, has the anchor logo on there. Sailor's anchor logo, 21 karat for uh, 21 karat gold. Then uh, also the numbering for the gold content down here. It says Sailor down there, very small. You can barely read this. Uh, and then Sailor has its nib with designations here on the side of the nib, HM for hard medium. That's what that looks like in comparison. Then the feet down here, they are both um, cartridge converter fillers. They both have proprietary converters. Um, this is the platinum. This is not the converter right here. Here I have the ink cartridge inside that came with the pen, but uh, there are converters for the platinum pens and they look like this. Have a very wide filling opening here. So as said, it's a proprietary, proprietary converter. You need a platinum converter. Metal uh, threading inside here. So no way that you can turn that into an eyedropper or something like that, if that is something that you would want to do. And uh, then let's open up the sailor. Also metal inside, has another rubber o-ring here and also a proprietary converter. This here is filled with, uh, I think it's uh, Waterman inspired blue and the ink in here is just the regular uh, platinum blue that comes in that converter. Let's do a round of uh, size comparisons. Just real quick, we did it already a little bit. Let's do it now a bit more systematically. So here we have those two beside each other. And as said, I think they're sort of like roughly the same size. Uh, the cap to body proportions are very similar. The only thing is that the, uh, uh, the Sailor 1911 does taper a little bit more towards the end and is a bit more pointy towards both ends. It's both a cigar shape aesthetic. What you exactly prefer, it's up to personal preference, of course. Here we have a Lamy Safari as another size reference. And I think it's fair to say that all three of them are roughly the same in length. So um, that's what that looks like. Let's unpack, uh, unpack, uncap those three and uh, see what that looks like. The Lamy Safari being the longest of them. Take that one away. Uh, and we now see the same picture that we had before. It's the Sailor being, you know, two millimeters longer or something like that. But also here, I think it's pretty safe to say that they are both the same length. So, I mean, overall, the only difference um, in between those is like minimal, a min very minimal uh, design differences that become more apparent as you bring the pens closer to the eye. Um, another difference, of course, being the gold content in the nibs that are different. And we're going to do a writing sample now that shows you that there is also a difference in how these nibs write. Start with the Sailor real quick. Sailor has like, of course, this like super famous uh, Sailor pencilish feedback that the nib produces on the paper. Sailor 1911 large, medium nib. And then that one here, the platinum, soft, fine.
That right here was me angling the nib weirdly. That wasn't the nib. Platinum number 3776. Um, this here, by the way, is the laurel green. This semi-translucent green finish. Cool thing about this uh, soft fine nib is that it's actually really cushioned writing experience. Very nice and bouncy. Um, it's it's not as soft as many uh, pilot nibs are where you would get unwanted line variation. So if you write with the pen regularly, the nib will be pretty, you know, hard and stiff and you wouldn't get any line variation. So that's all good. But when you ex uh, ex uh, exert a little bit of pressure on the nib, You know, then you actually get like a really good amount of line variation out of that thing. And if you then don't exert any pressure anymore, then you're back to this like very nice and fine line. So, you know, if you're into line variation, if you like to like get that kind of picture, then the soft fine nib option on the, on the platinum is probably like a really good option for you. It's really lovely to write with that you actually see a little bit of a difference between what the Japanese medium and what the Japanese fine nib looks like. Pretty substantial difference. Of, of course, it's like an inter-brand comparison, so uh, it's not an exact science right here. Price-wise, when you're trying to decide between those two, I mean, like, the Sailor is, like, around a, a third more expensive. I think you get, like, the Platinum 3776, the Laurel Green right here, like, and any other 3776. If it's not a... Uh, a niece or a niece poor or whatever like some kind of a special or limited edition then they retail for around 175 to 195 like roughly 200 euro a little bit under 200 euro at least that's what you get them for at the at nomado store right here whereas the sailor costs around 29 uh, uh, 295 so a little bit shy of 300 euros so you look at like 200 euro versus 300 euro price difference of 100 euro roughly is it worth it i don't know i mean like it really depends overall i would say that like the 1911 sailor does have a little bit more of a premium feel to it it feels like it's a more substantial plastic the threading feels a little bit more firm whereas the the platinum does feel a little bit more plasticky. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic by no means. And if you if you don't do a comparison, if you have only the platinum in front of you, then it feels like a very substantial pen and all that. Uh, it's just that when you compare it directly to this pen here, the Sailor 1911, then that pen feels a bit more robust, a bit more substantial, a bit more high quality. It feels that you have a little bit of a thicker and more resin in the hand, whereas this pen here does feel a little bit more lightweight and it feels a little bit more, you know, not flimsy, but, you know, it just feels a little bit more more, more lightweight and less material used and all of that. Um, of course, you have also a difference in the gold content in the nib. I don't think that that's the difference that accounts for 100 euro price difference, 14 carat versus 21 carat. Um, and then also the Platinum uh, are very sort of like notorious in a positive way, so very well known for being uh, some of the most affordable gold-nipped fountain pens out there. So like, you know, some, something like the Lamy 2000 or, or the uh, Platinum 3776, these like sort of like the two options that you hear as a first recommendation when people think about should or should they not upgrade for a gold pen what's most affordable gold nipped pens it's often the the lamy 2000 and the 3776 that you get mentioned as options so i don't think that that pen here is actually a hundred euros worth a better pen um but you can feel that it's a bit more high quality production wise as said not a hundred euros worth more there you have it up to you to decide which one of those two you may want to take. I hope this review could give you, you know, a little bit of a sort of navigation help, which of the two you may or may not want to have. Thank you, in that case, again, to Nomado Store right here for shipping this pen to me and uh, bringing this video to you. And I'll see you guys at the next review. Ciao, ciao.